Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today we are doing a bacon wrapped pretzel stick with a beer infused cheese dipping sauce. It's gonna be killer. Let's get going. All right, before we get going on this recipe, I wanna give a little shout out to Jason over at GQ Barbecue, newer YouTube channel, and this guy can cook. Anyway, he did a similar cook on his channel and it inspired me to do this. I'm gonna throw a few little kind of Southern California twists into it. Let's get rocking. I have 12 pieces of bacon here and I'm going to season it with some fajita seasoning. And this actually was given to me by another Jason. Jason Morlane is one of my buddies here on YouTube and it's made by a company called The Hog Zone. They have some killer rubs. Thanks again, Jason, for turning me on to this stuff. And their wasabi rub is really, really good on, on like a seared ahi. So I'm gonna go ahead and season the bacon strips. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these six right here and season the other side of these strips of bacon. You'll see why I'm not seasoning the other side of these six in a couple seconds here. All right, looks good. Now Jason used a barbecue rub on his bacon. Looked really, really good, but again, I'm going for more of that Southern California stuff, that kind of Mexican vibe. I'm going to be handling some finely minced jalapeno, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on so I don't rub my eyes like I always do. All right, so the other six, I'm gonna flip them over now. Like I said, I have some very, very finely minced pickled jalapeno peppers. We're gonna have six that are just sorta, of, you know, lightly seasoned, and then these are gonna hit you with some heat. All right, this is looking good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take my gloved hand here and press these into this bacon. I just wanna make sure they adhere. All right, that's looking really good. Now we're going to take pretzel sticks, and I'm going to wrap these pieces of bacon around the stick. We wanna make sure we leave, you know, a couple inches at the end to, as a handle. This is thin cut bacon and we're going to wrap this fairly tight. All right, get this paper off of here. Get the other board moved over so you can see what we're looking at. And we are ready to cook. I'm going to be cooking these on the Primo. I have it preheated for 350 right now. If you're cooking these in the house, 350 on the oven. Meet you out in the backyard. So like I said, Primo is preheated to 350. And I am using the heat deflectors. Regardless of what kind of cooker you're using, if you're gonna do this on a Weber or whatever, just make sure you're using indirect heat. Cool thing about this type of cook is for like a tailgate party at a football game, we can do this before we get going on the entrees. And uh, it's gonna make a lot of people happy whenever there's bacon involved. All right, so I have the jalapeno on this side, the regular guys on this side. We're gonna shut the lid. I'm gonna just kind of monitor this, but I'm gonna check it after about 10 minutes. I'm guessing between 10 and 15 minutes it'll be done. In the meantime, let's go back into the kitchen and I'm gonna fire up the stove for that cheese, beer cheese dip. It's gonna be killer. All right, now for the sauce, sticking with that Mexican theme, and I'm going to use a Negra Modelo. Now this is a kind of a darker beer, but it's very, very easy drinking. It's not real harsh. We're going to bring this to a simmer. Beer is up to temp. Now we're gonna add some cheese. Now Jason added cream cheese. I'm adding 10 ounces of Oaxaca cheese. Now Oaxaca cheese is a Mexican cheese. It's got a very buttery flavor. It's very creamy and it melts better than any cheese I've ever seen. This is my go-to cheese when I'm making quesadillas. Next thing I'm going to add is eight ounces of shredded cheddar jack. What I'm going to do now is I just want to get this all melted and get that beer to where it's starting to reduce. We'll move on to the next step. All right, what I'm doing now, cheese, as you can see, is getting nice and soft. The beer is getting reduced. 
Already added a little bit, but I'm going to add a little bit more. Nice fresh salsa. It's got some garlic in there, some pepper, some cilantro. It's going to add just a little bit more flavor and some nice color. Right, and here's what we're looking for, just nice creamy cheese. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. These things smell incredible. I did turn these once during this cook. What I'm going to do now is transfer them from the cooker to some wire cookie cooling racks. Take them inside. I'm going to let them set a while just so they can tighten up. And uh, we'll plate them up and give them a go. See you inside. All right, here they are all laid out, smelling really, really good. I'm going to go with the non-jalapeno version first. Give it a try. I like it. Cheese is really good. Let like me it. go with the jalapeno version now. You definitely get a little pop from that jalapeno, but it's not overpowering. And again, you get that kind of saltiness from the bacon and the pretzel and the crispiness. It's really, really good. I love it. Anyway, thanks again, Jason, for the inspiration, my friend. Guys, check out GQ Barbecue. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. My prediction, eventually one of the top outdoor cooking channels. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. Cheers.